my name is Maximilian Giel. I'm an outdoor and adventure photographer. Today I'm here in Seelisberg and I'm gonna test out some filters for the DJI Mini 2 and try to do some long exposures. So um, yeah, I'll just show you some footage and afterwards I tell you a little bit about the filters and why we use filters and what it's all about them and yeah. So let's jump into the video, have fun watching, and I'll see you later. So, all right, you've seen some footage and some photos I took um, with some filters. Um, at this point, thanks a lot for um, farewell filters, which supplied me with these filters for the Mavic Mini, uh, no, the DJI Mini 2 drone. And they gave me a set of two different kind of filters. Um, and I really like the design. It's a really nice, um, solid, um, aluminum uh, box and you can open it like this and then you find all the filters inside here they are really nice um, built and you can just clip them on the drone um, just on top of them and you got different kind of things like the ND4, ND8, ND16 and some combinations with some polarizing filters as well um, you need a little bit be careful um, that you don't touch the lens because it, yeah for sure the drone is small so also the filters are small and that's that's clear um, but as far as I know and as far as I ex experienced it it's really nicely built and they give a lifetime guarantee on them that's really cool and they also gave me the, the long exposure set that's uh, a set of two filters uh, and the 1000 and the ND2000 filter. So right now I use the ND2000 filter to get some four seconds exposures, which is the um, longest exposure you can do with, maybe with the DJI Mini 2. And so, yeah, um, I just checked them afterwards. I haven't seen them right now, but uh, you will see them for sure. What is the result of them? I shot some panoramas and some um, multi-exposures and for sure some single shots and some videos. And yeah, I just want to use this uh, situation to explain you why we use filters, especially uh, in videography. And it's like that. Um, you probably have heard if you're just new to the to the videography game that um, you have like the different kind of resolutions you can actually record with and that's like a 4k in 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second or 1080 60 frames per second or 1080 120 frames per second and that's really important because this determines what kind of shutter speed we should record with and so if you record and at 4K, maybe at 60 frame, uh, at uh, 30 frames per second, you double that, and you get the the kind of exposure you should use. So in this case, in 4K 30, we try to record in one sixtieth of a second. And if you don't want to put up the f-stop too high and want to film like in this really nice cinematic look with the open f-stop, like f2.8 or whatever. So we need to use a filter to drop the amount of light that comes into the sensor. And that's why we're using the, um, 
the filters and this also counts for the drones uh, and I also try to um, when I have like uh, 4k uh, 30 and the drone I try to one uh, to film at one sixtieth of a second and so I get the best kind of footage in terms of it's not like maybe you have seen this at some videos that you get like this like an old TV TV I actually don't know the, the term and you can avoid that if you record this kind of thing. So always double the frame rate and put this one, two, uh, whatever second, and then you get the right frame rate you should record basically um, for the video. And that's why we use the filters. And that's why I'm really, really thankful that they gave me those filters. Thanks a lot again. And yeah, I hope this was a little bit helpful for you to understand a bit why um, you should buy filters for your drone or for your camera. And this will, will help you a lot to get much more cinematic footage. And yeah, it's very worth the buy. I actually don't know um, how much they are. I just link them down below, these two kind of filter sets. And yeah, you also could see one more time what the DJI Mini 2 is capable of. And with these words, I say thanks a lot for watching. If this was really helpful and you liked the video, just please put a thumbs up. This would be really, really nice. And if you want to stay updated with more tutorials and footage from the mountains and whatever, just put the um, click on the subscribe button and I'll keep you posted. There will might be one or two videos a week, so yeah, quite some some stuff I got to tell you. And yeah, if you do so, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.